Joining us now to talk about this complicated situation in Moldova is political science professor Oral Brown from the University of Toronto. Professor, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says Kyiv intercepted a Russian plan to overthrow Moldova. Do you think this is a legitimate threat and can you explain why Russia would be interested in that country? Moldova has been a state which has been under Russian pressure ever since the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The eastern part of Moldova called Transnistria is a frozen conflict. It, it is ruled by a mafia-like organization that is uh, basically controlled by Moscow. And uh, Russia has troops inside Transnistria. The fear has been all along that Russia could use Moldova as another front to attack Ukraine. To, to attack Ukraine from, from the West. Uh, now, um, it would be difficult for Russia to have uh, large numbers of troops transported to Moldova because they'd have to fly, they would have to fly over either Romanian or, which is a NATO member, or over Ukrainian territory, but they can cause a great deal of mischief. And if they can somehow overthrow the pro-Western government of Moldova, then they hope that perhaps they could claim that Moldova is giving them consent and that uh, may allow them to somehow then bring in forces into Moldova under the guise of permission of the local government and uh, that would give them additional uh, options. Do you think the Prime Minister of Moldova's resignation is a sign that the government there might be unstable or weak and perhaps be more appealing to Russia? they would like uh, that kind of instability. They would either like to have a pro-Russian government, and they did have that at times, or at the very least, they would like to have as much chaos as possible to immobilize Moldova. So therefore, they can diminish the chances that Moldova would link up with the West, and that uh, keeps alive the hope <clears throat> that if somehow they could prevail in Ukraine, then there would be contiguity, because they already have the eastern region, Transnistria, under Russian control. They could take the rest, put extra pressure. It tells us that the ambitions that Vladimir Putin has are not restricted to Ukraine. Zelensky says Russian missiles entered Moldovan and Romanian airspace, adding that terror knows no boundaries. Should the rest of Europe be concerned? They should be. Uh, there is considerable evidence that uh, it has gone through Moldovan airspace, but the Romanians have been very reticent to admit that uh, missiles or uh, any weapons had gone through Romanian airspace because that would necessitate some kind of response. So there's a difference in view where Mr. Zelensky has maintained that there is evidence that radar will show that, in fact, uh, missiles had gone through Romanian airspace. And so far, the Minister of Defense in Romania is denying this. We don't know exactly what the truth is, because obviously, Mr. Zelensky has an interest to try to show that there's a larger threat. Romania has an interest in showing that they have not been directly involved, because that would necessitate a response. So the facts are not entirely, entirely clear, but the track record of Mr. Zelensky in terms of the claims that he has made have proven to be quite accurate. Thanks so much for joining us, Professor Oral Braun. Thank you for having me on.